What's up guys, I'm Hudson Yang and welcome to my show, Taste Test, where I'm going to be on the lookout for the best food ever and how to make it, because I love food. But you can't really love something if you don't know what goes into it. The work, the art, the science that makes it come to life. This week, barbecue. I love it. Smoky, savory, sweet, I can eat it all day. Today we're going to take a visit on a unique takes of this American classic, the Park Spice. Filipino-American run restaurant that has grown from a small catering company to one of the must-go eateries in LA. Today, the park team is going to teach me about Filipino food and juicy barbecue. Let's eat Pinoy style. John Eric, and um, he is the co-owner and barbecuist for the park's finest. So, tell me, John, what are we doing today? Yo, man, we're gonna make a backyard boogie for the crew. Okay. You ready to roll? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, welcome aboard. So, before we even touch anything, we're gonna learn how we do it in a restaurant is we gotta stock our gear, we gotta put our items away, we gonna do it in an imaginable amount of time. So, you've been getting your presses up, your push-ups yeah, yeah. in. There you go. This is the homie Noel right here, one of our managers. Do you do this every morning? Now we do this like twice a week. Twice a week? We used to get this every day, in fact, when we first started off, but slowly we've learned. Oh. Part of the, the, the restaurant game is making sure that you can find ways to make it more efficient. Now think about it like this. You know, sometimes people get real like short-tempered about the things they got to do every day, but cooking food for somebody on the most on is one of the most honorable professions that goes back ancient times. Everybody got to eat. So your, your ability to give somebody life, I mean, it goes a long way with respect. Sometimes people don't treat you like that way, but this is one business that, that wants to do that. So what we're about to make is our tri-tip. It's a California cut known as the bottom sirloin. Back in the days, a lot of Americans used to just grind it up for hamburgers. But in California, they said, no, nah, man, this whole piece right here, this clean cut with this fat, it's a really, really dope piece if you cut it this way and you let it cook slow, Santa Maria style. So, watch me, don't cut your fingers. What you want to do is have a little bit of fat on top, right? Yeah. Kind of like that duck skin, the, that chicharro on top. Yeah. Just give it a little flavor. Because what that's going to do is that could, that's going to render down, and that continues to season up and moisten up the meat as it cooks slow. That's pretty much it. You just trim it a little bit, because what we want to do, I mean, Filipino food is about not wasting stuff. So you didn't really waste a lot of this. So with respect to our Filipino culture, what we'll do is we let it cook slow, render it, and cut it thin enough so you get that nice ratio of meat to fat. So we don't do nothing fancy, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, that's it. Since your age, even younger. Standing really? next to dad, bringing cooked food to mom, raw food back to dad. When dad would take a break, you take over. Hmm. And then after that, you got old people hanging out with you. You're, you're, you're their best friends because they want you to hook them up with a good piece. So you took on that, I took on that responsibility and every time we did house parties and community events, our family was just the traditional cast that you hit up. All right, we'll take this, we'll put it right in the smoker. This is uh, internal smokers, we call this Lucy and Ricky. Flip it upside down, fat side up, and let's put it in the top row right in the middle. Every now and again in the kitchen, one, one sound you're gonna have is ah! What? Because they got hurt? They got slight, they got burnt up on the side, so I'm not gonna burn you up, but give me good. Ah! Ah! So there's the tip end cut, all of them are gonna, we cut them up in about eight ounce servings. Got some beautiful plating. We don't use parsley, so we use banana leaves. This is where you gotta get strong. It's hot, so light hands. Use the blade. Now this is where I use a guide finger because it helps kind of control it. You just let the knife do the work. So try, imagine yourself being a real life deli slicer as long as you're crabbing underneath yeah you're not cutting your fingers off left hand 
Palm the meat, a little hot. Boom! I just learned from John Eric the secret to making some delicious tri tip. So it started off being really strong. It had the spices from the pepper, and then it had that big, powerful poof of the garlic and the onion. I cut it up, and you see the red juiciness inside. I'm really, really hungry, but I cannot wait to see what John Eric has me do next. When we started the park's finest in 2009, we were a group of friends and family that got together. We love cooking for the community and taking care of families. So that's who we have dining with us today are the families that are involved in helping shape this to what it is today. And yeah, you're going to be serving them up today. Is there anything I need to know when serving them? Um, yeah, just make sure they're taken care of, they're doing good. And once they get their orders, just make sure the food tastes good um, and their drinks are filled up and everything like that, just to make sure that they're doing good and they're... Just make sure? Okay. Got it. Help yourself to a scoop of rice. Big ball of rice. It's a nice little bed of rice. You gonna make it like, make a little mound. Okay. And then help yourself, pick a slice. Let me hook you up. Yeah, right yeah. There. So this is our short ribs. It's slow roasted for 16 hours. We scorch it. We cut the top meat off, slice it into portion pieces, and then yeah, like. It's so tender that even with a fork, you just break it apart. Try it first without sauce. Make your own little... Mm. Wow. Now, try it with the vin, right? Try it with the horsey sauce. And then even hit it with some of that red bottle, that vinegar sauce. Mm. Yeah. So splash some on, just pick here. And then cut it open, rip it apart and put some of that horsey on top of it. Just hit it right there, Solid, right? I'm definitely gonna bring my family here. No, love it. Cool. But, you see, we just got this cornbread. Can you tell me what goes into this? So, traditional cornbread can sometimes be a little crumbly. Uh, Filipino babinka can be a little bit chewy. It's a, a rice cake. So it's coconut cream, rice flour, cornmeal, baked on a banana leaf. So it adds that moisture to it. We add some, um, Melted butter on the top, finish it with some sugar to give a nice little crispiness. We're lucky enough to have a nice dish that folks really enjoy on top of all the other savory meats that we do. Yeah, it really is delicious here. What we do is family style dining. Um, being able to offer food so families can share together. It, just to have one protein and rice, um, it doesn't give you an idea of how a Filipino backyard boogie is. It's one Instead of saying, I love you, many Filipinos say, have you eaten yet? Mm. And even if you've eaten, we're going to feed you some more because that's one way we can say, you're welcome in my home. You have, you're protected by you know, any outside elements that may come here and try to bother you. And then on top of that, when you leave, we're going to give you some more food on the road. I can completely, completely relate to that. My mom's mom, she would always do that. Whenever a friend came over, she'd be like, have you eaten yet? Yes. You want more food? And then, okay, it's time to go. Um, we start to leave, and then she has this big bag of food and plastic containers and plastic forks and spoons. And she's like, hand it over. And it's like, thank you, goodbye. Well, good work, man. Thank I you. mean, the restaurant business is hard, but um, <laughs> if you care about the people, if you care about the people that work for you, if you care about the people that are dining in your place, um, and you grind hard. So as long as you continue to grind, as long as you continue to learn, you know, no doubt you're going to have successful. Um, ventures in the future, whether it's acting or definitely open up your own shop. Thank you. No problem, man. Thanks for watching, and thank you, John Eric, for teaching me and for helping me out. Um, I ate some really great food. Where can we find out more about this restaurant? Absolutely. Check us out on theparksfinest.com, and then we have the social media, our IG, our Facebook, and our Yelp. You heard him. Follow me online and subscribe to ISA TV. See you later. watching this episode. Thank you Parks Finder for allowing me in and thank you Panda Express for making this all happen. Check out PandaExpress.com for locations near you. Subscribe to ISA TV and ISA Kid and find out these two boys channels over here.